Hey guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome to episode 36 of Flea Market Video Game Hunting. So first off, I'd like to thank Renee Bean from YouTube for shouting me out. I couldn't have done this without you. Really, that means so much that you would do that for me. And I am not at 1000 yet, but I am editing this on Tuesday. It's going to go up on Wednesday. So hopefully by then I will be at the 1000 subscriber mark and thank you so much i really do appreciate it you're amazing thank you and happy valentine's day to all of you so you guys saw me pick up that mouse pad that was three dollars i was excited to find that because that's a loot crate exclusive the last time i found something or the only time besides the mouse pad i found a volt boy bobblehead but the guy wanted $13 for it and I didn't want to pay that and I kind of regret not getting it but oh well I guess I do kind of want a subscription box to I don't know what box yet but I kind of don't want to spend monthly on that so I don't know the calculator was a dollar so I decided to pick that up and I probably overpaid for this game but I have this game sealed and I don't want to open it so I am going to end up seeing if I can trade that for something else. So that's why I paid 10 for this. So, you know, it kind of evens that out, I guess, if I'm going to trade the sealed one. I don't really like getting sealed games because I kind of feel like I don't want to open it because, you know, it loses its value. But good thing I got that one opened. The cover art is a little messed up, but I don't really worry too much about that because I might find the cover art in the future. So the guy, I asked the guy here on what the prices were and he said, oh, there are different prices for different stuff. And I kind of didn't like that, but I ended up just getting this Despicable Me 3 Blu-ray. I was going to get the Xbox One game, but I decided not for $10. Maybe if it was the Skyrim version, because my brother really wants to play that one. Uh, I don't know why if he has it on 360, but yeah. I ended up leaving this. I don't know if it was a good deal for 10 uh, I have this also on 360, the platinum version and the regular version. Also, I spaced out. I saw the Wii controller right now and I didn't even know that there was a Wii controller. Like, maybe I was in awe of the games and the Blu-rays that I did not know that there was a Wii controller. I would have asked the price, but really I just spaced out. So I ended up getting a, yes, a PS2 adapter. That was five and I ended up finding a PS1 car charger. It's 9.5 volts, so I'm not sure if it's for the PS1 Slim or the regular PlayStation for the car. Or I'm not really sure if that even goes to PlayStation. It might go to something else that Sony makes. But if you know, let me know in the comments. And these are all the games that the lady had. The lady that gives me good deals was actually not there this Sunday. So that's kind of a bummer. I was going to take this NBA Jam game because my brother has one on 360. So I was going to take him this, but it was pretty scratched it was i guess good condition and it had already been resurfaced so it had s scratches on top of the resurfacing and i was going to also take the ninja gaiden game but the same goes for that it was resurfaced and it had scratches on it already i was wondering what this game was because it says limited edition but it doesn't say the name of the game so i'm wondering if it's the godfather game but yeah, I'm not really sure on that. I think it is, but you guys correct me if I'm wrong. I was going to take it, but since I didn't know what the game was, I didn't take it. And it was a little scratch. All these games were a little scratched and they were wet from the day before. And they were a little sticky, so that's kind of why I didn't want to take any of the games. Also, in another ball of cords, she has like three balls of cords, but I found a... Original 360 big huge gray power adapter and I see those a lot but I don't know what's worth more the old power bricks or the new ones for the 360 slims. Um, but I usually don't buy them because you know she's probably gonna say 
five bucks because the PS2 adapters I get with her, they're always five dollars, which don't get me wrong, that's a great deal, but I don't really want to spend five bucks on something that I um, I don't really know anything about and I don't really know who would want those because nobody really has original 360s anymore, right? I have two 360 slim power adapters because like I said, they both died on me. So it's a good thing and a bad thing because if I find one, I have the power adapter for it. And if I don't, well, then I have two power adapters. I was thinking about taking the Thundercats DVD, but I kind of passed on that because it was really scratched. And I have never actually seen that cartoon. So I'm not sure if they have it on Netflix or Hulu. I have them both, but I'm not really sure if they have those or not. Uh, this is the power adapter that I was telling you guys about. I'm not sure if this is actually for a PS1. It was just thrown in the box and it has a yellow tip. So I was maybe thinking it is for a PS1, either the slim or the fat version. Uh, but like I said, I don't know. So you guys let me know. And with this lady, she said the games were $2 a piece. And I was so happy when she said that. I've never seen this EA replay game before. It has Road Rash. It has a lot of classics, which uh, some of these games I didn't know that EA actually made. And I was struggling here. I never actually know how to put back PSP games in the case correctly. I've broken the crystal case covers on the discs because I don't know actually how to put those in correctly. I'm not sure if you put it in up and then down or down and then up, but I'm pretty sure or maybe sideways. Yeah, that's that's hard. They could have made them easy like the DS cases, but they made them all hard. And this was actually a 50 cent bin. Kind of sucks that maybe somebody stole the game, but I'm not sure if you know, the kid actually just threw that game in there with no disc, but uh, probably somebody stole it in 50 cents. Why would you steal a 50 cent game? Come on. Uh, but I asked her how much she wanted for the empty case and she said I could take it. So that was really nice of her. So that is everything that I picked up that Sunday at the flea market. And I want to let you guys know that on Saturday, I'm going to be posting a new series on the channel. It's called thrift trade or shop i'm going to be showing you things that either i thrifted i traded for or i shopped at the store or either online to get so hopefully you guys enjoy that thank you guys for watching thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos if you want to follow me on twitter or instagram the links will be down below in the description happy hunting until next time guys i'll see you in my next video